what is the proper hijab for women who are performing Umrah. I mean during the state of performing Hajj or Umrah, such as also the question of uh, Fadl Rahman from Bahrain. The ihram of a woman is in her face and hands, which means that when a woman, when a woman says, لَبَّيْكَ اللَّهُمَّ either Umratan or Hajjan, in this case she must keep both hands and face uncovered, even if she is regularly wearing the niqab. So what to do when we come to perform tawaf and we're surrounded by a huge number of men around us? Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha wa ardaha explained to us what to do. She said, we used to uncover our faces and if men will pass by us or we pass by men who are none, who are none mahram to us, then one of us would lower the isdal. That's something different than the niqab uh, from the top of her head to cover the face and she can cover her hands beneath the khimar because this is also a aura in regular conditions but if she is not surrounded by men or if she's sitting in her seat in the plane and the chances of being sent by a non-mahram man is very little then she must keep her face and hands uncovered the rest of the hijab, she must cover up the entire body except for these two parts properly. Wear loose clothes, uh, opaque, not see-through. Avoid those attractive color and glitters. And all, of course, uh, avoiding wearing any makeup or perfume, whether in hajj or outside hajj. But most specifically, of course, because we see a lot of ladies they do not understand the concept of Hajj and Umrah. They come and when they go out for the day of Arafah, the lady will be wearing a full makeup. We see that because ladies will come to ask us questions. So she is standing in front of me, then you're shocked that a woman is wearing a full makeup. And she's wearing very tight clothes or wearing very attractive perfume. All of that would nullify the activities of the ibadah of Hajj or Umrah.